Welcome Gemini to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 5th of August for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. Just to say my very special year 2025 personal horoscope forecast is available now and you'll get the rest of year 2024 free and 30% off in my special package along with your life roadmap report. Please see the link below for more. Now you can be the consummate communicator and with Mars and Jupiter set to meet in the sky on the 14th of this month, your passion and enthusiasm for your ideas is certainly going to ramp up from now until then. You've also got the Sun and the Moon in Leo, which for you is your third solar house, a so very redolent of the energies of your sign, in support for you right at the start of this week. So if there is something that you're feeling bubbly about, inspired about, or it's a social connection, it can all seem very go, go, go. However, Mercury, your ruler, does go into a retrograde on Monday. It's joined by the planets of relating, Venus, and they're both in your fourth house. This suggests that despite the bright and breezy energy that's going between your sign and Leo, there can be some more delicate strands that you need to watch out for this week, and it may relate to people you're close to. Now, whether that's extended family or blood relatives or people you encounter on an everyday basis, the potential for a snag or a misunderstanding is in inevitably heightened with a Mercury retrograde in this area through to the middle of the month. But there's also opportunity, so you could find yourself actually getting together with a sibling, perhaps on Thursday, when Mercury and Venus connect exactly. And ironically, this can be a very fortunate uh, conjunction. Also, the Sun's link to Jupiter, one of the most energizing in astrology and also potentially one of the most fortunate that peaks on wednesday so there's great stuff bubbling away but mercury retrogrades of course can create some snags and perhaps really you're being asked to just be that much more mindful of the emotional dimension because just before venus moves on monday it does finish its clash with uranus in your 12th house and maybe something exploded into the open at the end of last week that was a much more delicate matter and it could have been around a romantic relationship and it may have related to an old topic and now the opportunity is to not deny the chance to work with this because you could go potentially into a little bit of a defensive posture however as the week goes on also saturn and jupiter which have two very competing energies, Jupiter about growth, Saturn about restraint, they peak up on the, the 19th of this month, but they're actually uh, going to become more influential as this week goes on. And for you, Saturn is in the part of your scope to do with responsibilities. And it can be your connection with the wider world or people you encounter in terms of uh, a boss or a line manager. And there too, your desire to invest all this brightness right at the start of the week could be met with a little bit of a muted response. Perhaps not everybody is quite getting what you're wanting to do. And this is where patience and the passage of time uh, will work better than reacting in, in a very quick way. So just be aware that something may slow down quite quickly as this week goes on just after it seemed incredibly positive and that of course can in itself because of the mixed message it be rather frustrating but if you prepare for it you'll be much more set to work with the energy and just know by the middle of the month if you really feel strongly about something the conviction you have is going to impress someone and it could be someone truly influential have a great week gemini take care all the best and goodbye